Mm, I think this logical operator, is it completed? Yes. So last class logical operator also it's completed. So we have just checked with the and operator, or operator and not operator. So how we can use in the conditional statements. So this one we can use it when we are putting the conditions. So in the conditional statements, in the next classes we will see for if else loop, looping concept, switch statements. So these are all the conditional statements where we can check the condition. While checking the condition, we can put the uh, operator like AND operations, OR operations, and NOT operations. So these are the operations we can do that. So for example, uh, if both the expression, if you want to make, if it is the only the true, then only our statement should become true. So that time we can use the AND operator. So in the same, we can use for the OR operator. Return that true if one of the statement is true. So any one of this expression is become the true. So only that that time the con the whole condition will be the true. So whatever the resultant, it will just reverse to the current uh, this expression result. For example, if it is a true, it will reverse to the false. If it is a false, it will reverse to true. So if it is only the true, then it will go to the next statement. So that one we will see in the if else conditions. So how if statements will work. And we have a Python identity operator. So that is like is and is not. So is means, so we are just checking uh, whether that value is exist with that value. X is X is Y. So, so X is X, X and Y both are the same. So X is not Y. So like that we can just comparison by using the identity operator. So identity operator we have not seen any. Uh, we can't able to see in Java or C++ any other programming language. So this is the new type of feature which is provided in the Python. So for example, there is a two list X and Y. And here we are just printing that X is Z. So what is happening here? So they are going to assign the Z value to, uh, they are going to create the variable Z and they are assigning the value of that X. So then that time, so all X value will store in the Z variable. So then we are just checking X is Z. So it means that X is Z. So both the values are same. So then the condition will be the true. Then X is Y. So X and Y are the, is it the same? X is not Y because we are not storing X value to Y. Even still the inside values are same. So the val the variable should be assigned by using the single equal operator. But if we want to check with that x is double equals to y, so both are same because value which is present in x and y both are the same. So this is the example for x is y and x is not y. So this is just a reverse for that. If x is not z means this is false because x is a z. So we are going to assign x to z. If we want to check that not equal to y, x is not equal to y. This is the false because x is double equals to y. So because this list is equal to this list. So both the lists are same, which is having the two values. So one is apple and banana. So the, this list is also containing the same values. So when we do with this operator, equal and not equal, so it will just check with the values. 
so when we are just comparing with the is not or is operator so whether that variable is assigned to the this z variable so here we can check that So I'm just debugging the code. So now the X variable is created and the value is stored as a 75. So 75 is the integer value. So when we execute the next line, so it is created the Y variable and it, the integer value 56 is assigned to Y. So when we are going to make as Z, Z is equal to X means, so we are going to create a Z variable and we are going to assign the value of X to Z. So here it is created. So Z is equal to 75 means this X value is assigned to the Z variable. So, but this value has been reference, got reference from X variable. So it means that X, we can say X is Z. So both are the same. So now if I check this condition, X is Y, this will print false. Here we are just checking x is y. So let's make that same value. So as this is the integer value, this is showing the same uh, as a true. So we'll just check with the list. So as this is the list, they, we can't able to compare the compare to list. So that's why it is showing X is Y is X and Y is not equal. So in the same way, if I want to check with X is Z. So this will show true. So we'll debug and we'll see what happens in it. So X list is created and this is having the two values, 75 and 45. And then Y variable is created with same values. And one more Z variable it's created and X value, whatever is there in the top. So that value has been assigned to the Z. So this will be having the same reference X and Z. So that's why if we check the condition X is Z, <coughs> it will say it is a true. Let's check with X is Y. So this is saying this printing false because both the list values are same so but we can't able to it will not compare the values of x and y so that's why it is printing as a false so instead of that if we compare with double equal so now it is printing the value as a true it means that it is comparing this list values and this list value for example, if I make 35, 
So this is printing as a false because this is 35 and this is 45. So both the list are not same. But if I make x equals to y, x equals to y is true because we are going to store y value to x again. So both if x and y if we check with the t's, so it will show both are both are the same. Y is not X false because X and Y are, we are going to store that reference also by using the single equal operator. But if we don't assign that value, it is showing true. So because Y is, Y is X is become false. So then if we make it reverse by using the not, so then it will become the true. So this is the main difference with the single equal and when we are checking with the is operator, identity operator. So far, that's why they will call it as a identity operator. So they are saying like a variables are the same object. Same object means so if we uh, store the value from uh, one variable to another variable through the very uh, to the variable instead of giving direct values. So when we store the value to the variable, so that time we can call it as a both are same object. So that time whether we can check whether that objects are same or a, it is stored the direct values. So that time we can use that operator is and is not. So in the same way we can check whether the value is there in that variable. So for that, we have a membership operator that is called as a in and not in. So if we see any example. So we are just checking this list value, whether that that present in the complete whole list. So if it is present, it will show. If it is not present, it will not it will show it will uh, return the value as a false true or false it will return so let's check with this our example itself So I'm just checking 75 is very next. True. So because 75 is exist, so this that is only the first value of this list. So that's why it is saying true. For example, I will give, which is not there. So I just give a 40. This is returning false. So it means that Forty is not exist in this list. So when we want to check any particular value, whether that exists within that list, we can do like this. So otherwise we need to iterate and we need to compare each values with the double equals. So for example, if I make it like this, <clears throat> it will not execute actually, it will throw the error. Okay, 40 is double equals to X will give the 75 only, which is existing, but still it is showing false. So with this double equal uh, operator, we can't check that this value is exist in this list. Okay, this double equal directly we compare with the x variable value with this value. 
the both the values should be the same. So when we use in operator, so this value will this value is present within this x, it will search and it will find out. So if it is exist, it will return true. If the value is not exist, it will return false. So in the same way, we can use not. Not in. So these are all just like in normal English how we use. So that's why Python they call it as a easy and also this use just like in normal English. So not in. It means that 75 is exist. It's supposed to return true if we use only in operator. So because we are using not operator, so it is reversing that from true to false. So if I check with 40, which is not present, but it will say true. Okay, so the last uh, last one operator, so that is the bitwise operator. So we have seen the membership identity operator. So these two new feature only exist in the Python, which is not there in any other programming languages. So all all other program all other concepts was there. So logical operator. So in C plus we were using two double ampers uh, address bar address operator we were using two address operator for R we are using two lines iphones not iphones pipelines so for the not operator we were using exclamatory exclamatory symbol we were using for the not operator in java or cc plus plus program but in python we use direct keyword as a and r and not so other comparison operators arithmetic operators and assignment operators. So these are all exist in all uh, any other programming languages. So even bitwise operator is present in other programming languages. So let's just check with this what is uh, how it works in the Python. So as I explained in the logical and or operator. So here also the and operator is exactly the same thing. So which will compare with right and left values. Okay, so here we are going to do the bitwise operation, actual logical and operation. So in logical operator, we were using the and, a and and. So that is for to check whether both the expressions are how it is. For example, if both the values are true, so whether it should be true. If both, if any one of the values are false, so the answer will be the false. So like that AND operation will work. But here when we make AND operator with the integer numbers, so it will convert that integer numbers to binary. So after converting both integers to binary, it will do the AND operation. So in the AND operation 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, only if both the values are 1, so then the output is 1. So after doing the AND operation, so the final binary, binary value will be again convert back to the integer number. So then it will print the integer value. example x is 3 y equals to 4 
x and y. So it will print the result. So it is printing the value zero. So because what is the binary value of three? Anybody know what is the binary value of three? One one zero zero one one. Yeah, it will take up to four bits zero zero one one. So for four, so after zero zero one, after zero zero one one, if it is a three, so what is the value for four? Zero one zero zero. So it will next bit will come and next others will become zero. So this is this value is four. So when we do the AND operation, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So total final result is 0. So we are getting the value output as 0. So like this, it will do the AND operation. If we make the R operation, So value is seven. So how an R operation works? So any one value is high, so then output will be high. High means one. So low means zero. So I'm just mentioning as a high. So what is the value of zero zero in the R operation? Zero, zero, 01 yeah 101 and 101 <clears throat> so what is the in decimal value for this 01111 yeah. 7 yeah so output is 7 <clears throat> So like this, it will do the binary operation, bit bytes binary operation. So don't get confused with the logical operator AND and bitwise operator AND symbol. AND and R symbol. For R, we, we use the pipeline. And in the same way, we do the XR operation and not operation. So XR means, so what is the R? So it will make reverse for that. For example, let's execute and we'll see this. So XR, how it works, uh, it will set each bit to one if only one of the two bits is one. So it means that only when both the bits are one, so then only it will set the bits is to one. But when we make a X bar, so it will revert. And zero one means it is five. So then it should be zero. 
So then one one zero is So five plus three, five x or y is equal to six. So it means that zero so this is three and this is five. Zero, one, one, and zero. So what is the value for one one zero? So here, if we take our operation, if it is one and one one, so then it it will make it as a one. Okay, but when we use the XOR operation, when both the bit are high, it will make it as a zero. So when there is a one zero or zero one, so it will always be one. So double one zero is the six. So that's why we are getting the value as a six. So this is the XR operation. So in our program, when we want to make an XR operation, so we have to use that this operator. And when we want to reverse the value of that bit, so we have, we have to use the not operator with this, this symbol. So for example, I want to reverse the X values. So it is becoming minus four. So it means zero, zero, one, one. So when we make it as one, one, zero, zero. So this is not only just a four bit. So when we take a computer, so when once we take a integer so it will take up to two bytes so when it convert to the two bytes so it is total four the so total as we just checked in the previous so integer will store in the two bytes are four bytes okay so if it is a two bytes so then it will store eight eight sixteen bits data so when i am writing the value as a three so it will utilize only first two bit one one so others are zero so when it will reverse it so it will make all others as one And that's two bit as a zero zero. So when we convert this to binary, so it will become a minus four value. So because last bit we used to represent for the plus and minus. So initially, if it is a positive value plus three, so then it will reverse to the minus. So because zero will become a one. So for example, now we'll check with the minus three. So now it is showing as a plus value. So because that whole length in the initial first bit will be represent for the sign. So if it is a zero, it means a positive value. If it is a one means it is a negative value. So that's why if I use a minus, it will it get reverse. 
okay the not means it will if it is a zero it will make it as a one if it is a one it will make it as a zero so like this we have we have not operator will be get used so let's check with the y also Why it is it is becoming a six. So one zero one is actually five. So when it reverse it zero one zero. So and there is a there is a shift operator. Okay. Uh, so maybe in your academics you have studied about the binary shift. Anybody know about the binary shifts? Shift left, shift right. Yes. Yeah. So in the same way. So whatever you convert the decimal number to binary number, so it will just insert the zeros from the left and by removing the left side values. For the for example, in the left side, if you have a one one, so you just remove it. So we'll see the tricks. So like this so when we are when we are doing the left shift so it will shift to the next next bit by introducing the zero zero will be added at the empty space so this is the one bit shift so if it is a two bit shift it will shift two times so one times it will shift like this so then again it will shift to the this value will be shift to the next bit So and we'll see the right shift also. So when we are doing the right shift, 